Woohoo! <laughs> Hey, 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 guys!、Uh, you're listening to the English Made Simple show. This is episode number one three four, number one hundred and thirty four, numero ciento treinta y cuatro. So, welcome to the English Made Simple show. My name is Milena from English Made Simple dot net, English Made Simple punto net, and、uh, that introduction was actually a birthday song. Uh, by Mr. Snuggle Whiskers. <laughs> it's a it's a cute、uh, name for a cat.、Uh, I've got this birthday card that、uh, plays music. It it plays music when you open it. I didn't realize this cat can actually play some heavy metal. <laughs> so cute, right? Well, it is my birthday today, so hence the、uh, hence the music. Cool. All right, guys.、Um, Como están? How are you? How are things? Hope you guys are doing well.、Uh, so we've covered a lot、uh, about food and eating and drinking in the last、uh, last few episodes.、Uh, we've done many episodes、um, previously in the past few weeks.、Um, I think it's time we move on to another topic. Even though drinking and eating are two of my Favorite things. I can talk about these things forever,、uh, but we must move on to another topic. All right,、uh, we have no time for food and drink anymore. I want to talk about three things today. The first thing being, well, it's my birthday. Yay! It's the time of the year, birthday time. Let's not talk about my age, as I have passed my mid. Thirties! Oh my goodness! Right, the next thing I'd like to mention is、uh, the seven-day speaking challenge,、uh, which I will talk about more in the next、uh, episode or maybe the episode after that. Let's see. I will share more details about this in the next episode. I only wanted to remind you about it, okay? So don't forget. If you are listening to this episode in August of two thousand and seventeen. This challenge, the speaking challenge I'm talking about, applies to you. I know that、uh, there are people who still listen to the episodes I released in 2016 last year, even to this day. So, if you are now listening in August of 2017, please be aware there is a speaking challenge coming. Okay, great. Radio now, the third. Thing I'd like to share with you is the topic of moving, moving, moving interstate, moving overseas, or moving houses. In any case, today you will learn new vocabulary related to moving. There is another word we could use here, and it is relocating, relocating. However, there is a difference between relocating and Moving. Let me give you an example.、Uh, when I say to my friends, "Hey guys, I am moving," they will assume that I'm moving to another house in the same city, or just、uh, moving suburbs. Well, the verb to move normally means you are still in the same country and the same city, unless you specifically state, "I am moving to another country." Or I am moving to another city. To move, in this case, in Spanish, would be translated as mudar or mudarse. Did you notice、uh, how I use the preposition to? Moving to. The preposition to. T O. What is it? Let me give you a refresher. Let me refresh your memory. The preposition to is a preposition of movement. Right, it is a preposition of movement. I guess、uh, this sentence now will help you remember to use the phrase "to move to," always followed by "to." I am moving to. I am going from one place to another. So let's imagine I am moving to another suburb in Melbourne. A suburb, it's a new word, is a small area located in the city where people live. It's、uh, usually located outside of the city, but still within the city perimeters. A city can have many suburbs located on each side of the city. For example, east, west, north, and south suburbs. 
I live south of Melbourne. All right. In Spanish, a suburb is barrio or suburbio. And then each suburb uh, can belong to one council. In Australia and New Zealand, suburbs belong to a council. I don't know about the US. I think they call them districts or municipal districts. I could be wrong or um, I could be right. Who knows? <laughs> In Chile, they call them comunas, I think. Okay, so going back to the moving, let's imagine I am moving to another suburb in Melbourne. I can just say to my friends, hey guys, I am moving this weekend. They will know that I'm still in Melbourne, but I will live um, at a different address in Melbourne. Or I can also say to my friends, uh, hey guys, I am moving houses this weekend. Or I have to move houses this weekend. To move houses or to move suburbs, uh, you can say it like that as well. Um, well, this is how I hear people say it here in Australia. They say to move houses. But I think in the UK they say, for example, I plan to move house this weekend. House is a singular here. And uh, why am I telling you all this? Why are we talking about moving? Okay, because... I am moving this week. I am moving. I am moving interstate. I am moving from uh, one city to another. I am moving from Melbourne to Adelaide. I will only live there for one year. Just one year in Adelaide. I don't know about you, uh, but if you read uh, newspapers, you will have read that uh, Melbourne has been voted recently as the most livable city in the world. It was ranked number one for the seventh consecutive year I believe and Adelaide has been voted as number five so you could say I am downgrading <laughs> okay <laughs> look um, I don't actually believe these uh, statistics uh, Melbourne is a great city but uh, there are still some things here that other cities in the world do much better let's take uh, public transport for example Melbourne's uh, public transport is a shocker. It's really shocking. Nothing compared to Chile or Europe, okay? Or even the U US probably. I don't know, I've never been to the US, I assume. I assume so. But uh, let's not go into all of this now. We're not going to talk about public transport. So I am moving to Adelaide. Adelaide. I think I mentioned Adelaide in one of my previous episodes. I Uh, one of the earlier episodes I can't remember I think it was 40 something I have to check I better check that all right Adelaide is a city to 1 million people and one snake I think that's what I said in the previous in uh, one of those episodes actually Adelaide has many sharks tiburones many sharks and many snakes serpientes And uh, now Adelaide will have one mean Milanita. <laughs> anyway, this week I have to pack my things. I have to decide what to put in the storage and what to take with me to Adelaide. I will be driving to Adelaide, so I, I can't take too many boxes with me. They can't all fit in, in the car. By the way, did you know Adelaide is the closest city to Melbourne? It's only eight hours of driving. Wow. Eight hours of driving. I could drive around the whole Europe in eight hours. No, not really. I'm exaggerating, but just, you know, wanted to tell you how big Australia really is. It's a huge country. Right. So, I have to pack, put things inside the boxes so the removalists can come and move things. To pack in Spanish is empacar. The removalists will either move boxes to a storage facility or move boxes, move the boxes to Adelaide, to an address in Adelaide. If you don't hear from me this week, it's because I'm actually busy packing. <laughs> I have about 50 pairs of shoes to pack. <laughs> I am a shoe freak, what can I say? Um, so I mentioned the word removalists. Uh, this is equivalent to servicio de mudanzas. Removalists in Australia, that's how we say in Australia, uh, and I think in the UK and the US they call them movers. 
movers okay so another phrase you need to know here is to move out and to move in okay move out and move in for example i have to move out from my home in melbourne and i have to move in to my new home in adelaide okay move out and move in cool awesome awesome guys hopefully you're following me so far and uh, another word that i mentioned in the beginning of this episode was relocating so when we say relocating okay we mean we are moving permanently okay relocation would mean it's a permanent move and when we say moving it generally means we are moving house or we are you know we are staying in the same city but just moving suburbs hopefully that makes sense okay awesome i think this is enough of gibberish for today muchas gracias for listening if you have enjoyed today's show please share it with your friends and your enemies remember you can find transcripts to the show uh, on my website englishmadesimple.net thank you for joining me amigos y amigas you've been jamming with milena from english made simple i'll catch you next time hasta la próxima adios